Now here we're gonna have a little bit of fun with a build that we did for uh, Victoria to have a Jeep for a birthday. So uh, I went ahead and had to do a little bit of cleaning up around the shop. And then of course, anybody that knows me and knows the engineer in me, we've got to lay out everything and make it make sense. So as you can see, she got this uh, Power Wheels Jeep. And once I drag everything out of the, the box, I start going through and making sure that I lay everything out in a logical manner. And eventually I find the instructions. Now, my wife loves to make fun of me because I will go through and make sure that I have every single piece that I will make sure that I go through the instructions completely. And I have been known to pull out a red pen and actually mark up the instructions because they had problems. So here's my wife kind of making fun of me yet again. Uh, and going through making sure we have everything. From there, we're gonna go ahead and get into the assembly of this thing. Now, this isn't a step-by-step -step assembly, how to do anything like that. I'm just gonna be running some high-speed footage showing me putting this thing together. Now, I will tell you that the instructions on a Power Wheels are not that bad, actually. I really didn't have anything that I had major fussing and fighting over it with. Um, but there was a few things that, that could have been just a little bit better. Uh, so once we went through, we figured all the pieces out for this, I started putting everything together. And if you can tell, I started off with, uh, just a regular screwdriver and some manual tools. Uh, I'm getting a little too old for that and I own stuff, so why not use it? So you'll see here that it's time to go ahead and break out the power tools to make some stuff go a little bit faster here soon. So here we go. Now I've got the, the drill out. I did go ahead and run the chuck on that thing down to where it was going to be a very loose clutch just so that I wouldn't strip anything out. I wouldn't over tighten anything. I, I, you know, that plastic and those screws really aren't built for putting up with the type of torque that uh, a power tool can give it. But we go ahead and we slam this thing together, uh, flip it over this way and that way, put all the... This point right here is the part that every parent hates in putting together anything for the kids, and that's the stickers. So we start getting this whole thing together, and uh, the stickers are just a pain in the butt and i don't know why we don't go ahead and put those stickers on ahead of time i don't know why we don't just leave the stickers off but it is what it is right so we had to leave the build for just a little while and come back to it uh, you know had other things that we had to do uh, we came back down late that evening and I had some other work that I had to do. I had to get ready for everything that was going on in the week for me at work. Uh, I actually had a little bit of a show that I had to put together. So in the end, my wife ended up having to do the most frustrating part, which is those stickers. And if you see over there on the top left, there's a, a camera tree and some other stuff. I'm sitting over there working while she's diligently trying to figure out all this sticker stuff. Uh, again, it's a royal pain. None of us like doing it, but we kind of have to do it. So she's almost done at this point. She's flipping it this way and that way, getting all the stickers on. And then she's got to go ahead and get a couple of shots of that thing and call it done. Put your foot on the pedal and you can drive. 
Wow! 